Mike, the decision to start Dobbs, is that more to see uh, and have a comparison contrast with Malik, or did you think he gave you a better chance in this game tonight? Well, probably a little bit of both last week, just kind of seeing, um, you know, really it was, a, it was a great opportunity to evaluate Josh, and, you know, then we'll make a decision going forward. Um, yeah. I thought he did some good things. I thought he, you know, certainly liked to have a couple throws back, but, you know, we'll kind of see where things are here in a couple of days. When did you guys know he was going to be the guy tonight? Early in the week, I told both of them. How did you like how you played, maybe on defense, keeping this game close, and the penalties, maybe the mistakes end up dooming you at the end? Well, we just beat ourselves too much. You know, I mean, it's too hard to beat beat the Cowboys or, or good football teams when, when you beat yourself. Um, but I thought we competed. I, 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 I was extremely proud of the way that the, you know, the 47 guys we had up tonight competed. Certainly without mistake, um, but we gave ourselves a chance. But then again, we just you know, did too many things that, that hurt us and stalled drives or allowed drives to continue. And it did, didn't get the drive stop with a field goal you know, down there in the red zone. Once you made the decision to go to Dobbs, was there ever you know, any thoughts, OK, if it doesn't work out, to go back to Malik in, in, in this game? Mm -hmm. Our guys. Does, that, does that say anything, uh, Mike, about Malik's progress, the fact that you're bringing a guy from the practice squad? Well, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we're, gonna, we're excited about having Malik. We are. We're excited about some of the things that he's done, and, and we'll continue to, you know, just, just digest this over the weekend and kind of make a decision. You know, Malik has, has worked hard. Um, you know, but then we just have to kind of, you know, see where we're at with the quarterback position here going down to the last week of the season. See panic from some guys in, in some big moments with some drops or with Trey draping himself around a guy on third and 19 to give up 51 yards. There's some signs of panic in moments like that? Then, you know, just got a penalty, critical penalty. Panic. Do you think guys panic, man? They're out there playing their, their butts off, man. They made a mistake. You had three pass plays of over 30 yards. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's something that hasn't been a part of your, your offense the last couple no, of years. No, man, I thought we protected well. You know what I mean? It, it, it threw it out the course to get. You know what I mean? There were times where, you know, when it was obviously passing downs. Um, but I thought there was times for Josh to progress through and move the ball downfield. You know, I think Traylon got held. You know, I think his left arm got grabbed. Um, same guy that called Paul's, you know, 50-yard pass interference penalty. Didn't see it the same way on our sidelines. I, I don't know what to tell you, but I thought you know there were opportunities where we could have helped um, you know Josh out as well, uh, and we couldn't come down with a catch. But there was also other times where we we made plays down the field and you know hit the screen versus pressure and and all those things. I thought you know Hassan had one of the better runs of the year on fourth and two. You know ran over a really good player uh, and fell forward for a first down. How about the roughing penalties? That those seem pretty similar, prices and plans. You know, those are judgment calls, and I think that was bad judgment. You had a lot of decisions to make on players who played, who didn't. Did, did Kevin, by chance, say demand? I mean, did he make a case that he wanted to play? How'd you think he played tonight with the two picks? Well, I mean, I value uh, Kevin's opinion. I value his his role in his football team as a captain. Um, and, you know, you, you have to make decisions. You know, I, I felt like, um, you know, just where we were in, in, in that case that he, you know, was going to play, he wanted to play, you know, and I, I, that was the plan. And then I thought he played well. I thought he took advantage of his opportunities when the ball came his way and whether it was deflected or tipped or whatever, I thought he tried to tackle and come down and support. Um, but all those things aside, I appreciate his leadership, you know, and, and you know, it was a it was a different week, you know. The whole circumstances with, you know, next week and, and trying to prepare a team and, and again that's why I guess I'm proud of the way that they, they fought. I mean I'm sure that everybody expected us to, you know, just lay down and, and I don't I know that we didn't do that.
Mike, you've talked about needing to find a way to win and find some momentum these weeks before you get to Jacksonville and not focus on the importance of that game. Obviously, you didn't get the win tonight, but was there anything that you took away as maybe positive momentum moving into this? Yeah, I thought, you know, I mean, there was things when we, when we didn't beat ourselves or we didn't extend drives with penalties or, you know, third down's a little disappointing. You know, I thought we stopped the run, you know, with whoever we had in there, whoever, whatever group, whatever front, um, stopped the run. Um, you know, they even, you know, the one had the one big one. It would have been much less than that if we would have just, you know, done our job and, you know, been where we were supposed to be. You know, we wouldn't have given up the long one. I think that was a positive. Certainly the, the penalties are, are negative. Um, being able to avoid, you know, some of those. Um, you know, offensively, I thought we got into a rhythm. I thought we, we kept competing. You know, we need to run the football better, but... You know, you know, man, that's kind of been where we've been the last couple of weeks is doing some good things, just not consistently enough. And, and then, unfortunately, you know, beating ourselves in the margin for error when you do that is, is pretty thin. How much did Josh's uh, play kind of help pump some life into the passing game for you? Well, I mean, I think guys were, you know, Woody had a big third down catch over there on the sidelines. I thought that was, you know, you know, a good ball and obviously needed some protection to get there. And, um, you know, we'll see where it went and, you know, watch the tape. But, you know, I thought that there were some good, you know, I, mean, I wish Traylon would have tried to, you know, been able to come down with that one. It was a little behind him. But, you know, I think Traylon expects to make that catch. But I thought the timing on it was good and it was going to the right spot. What's the benefit that, that, that he had this productive of a night, Dobbs, uh, you know, on, on such a short turnaround, make it that much more impressive that he's only been here? Eight you know, days or nine days, I think. You know, he was excited for this opportunity, you know, get his first start. And, um, you know, I think something that we've always said that, you know, since I've been here uh, is that it doesn't really matter how you end up here or how you get here. The only thing that matters is what you do when you're here. And we've had a, a lot of guys, you know, take advantage of those opportunities. And, you know, I think Josh wanted to, to try to do you know, the best that he could. Unfortunately, we lost and you know, I'm sure he'd like to have the interception back, but you know, did some good things, just what, not well enough. What has to happen for, for you guys to be able to flip a switch, end the streak, win the division? Well, I mean, I think we just have to get, get some guys back healthy, um, clean up some of the little details that show up. You know, you only get one opportunity sometimes with, with a call on offense or defense versus the same exact look. It's going to happen in the game. And, you know, if you don't hit it, you can't say, well, don't darn, we'll just rep it again and practice. And I think we've had far too many of those, but we'll, 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 be, we'll get them cleaned up. Um, we'll have to eliminate big plays on defense, we'll have to run the football, and take care of it. You know, same thing we always say, just do it a little bit more consistently. And I'm excited, I'm excited to you know, watch these guys walk back in a building next week, energized, recovered, rested. I'm excited. We sat there last week and you had mentioned how you wanted everybody to do a little bit more. You had the same result this week, but do you feel like as if you got that extra more from everybody that, that you kind of challenged? Uh, that I mean, I think so. I mean, again, I, you know, I haven't watched the tape, but, you know, I felt like the guys, you know, some of the leadership was, was really good. Um, I had some good performances, just, you know, not, not good enough and, you know, just – Buying into to the meetings, buying into the, you know, the details. Never know when you're going to get your opportunity to, to make a play and be ready to make it. Were you operationally smoother tonight? Well, um, you know, I think without looking at the tape, maybe. But, you know, I think there were still a few times where, you know, you have to, you have to fix those mistakes. Everybody's responsible for that, you know, whether the – you know, formation gets called right or wrong or play like we you have to know the game plan well enough to know where you line up and and hear the call and you know there were some mistakes like there is every week I know you don't want, you don't want to put anybody on injured reserve but was it hard with Ryan and did, did you get a chance to, to talk to him yeah of course I get a chance to talk to Ryan um, yeah I think it's always difficult you know but I think you have to be realistic uh, as well. Um, where we're at, you know, and, and what was a realistic expectation, you know, for Ryan to come back and, and how long that would be and what that may look like, 
when he did come back. So, you know, that was the decision that we made. Uh, he was obviously disappointed. Talked about his toughness. No different than all the other guys that we've had to put on IR. Josh, when did you find out that you were going to start? Um, so, after the last game, uh, it was Christmas Eve, and I was actually driving home. And uh, Pat called, and he said, hey, come, can you come in tomorrow? Um, just to be prepared to play. We just want to go through the game plan. Uh, we're just trying to figure out which way we're going to go, but if you're playing, I just want you to see the stuff as soon as possible. So um, drove home, spent Christmas morning at home, and then turned around around noon, uh, drove back up. I uh, had a car finally, so drove back up, and then we started diving into the game plan. And then the next day, they said, hey, we're probably going to start you, so you're going to take all the reps throughout practice, and um, that's the way we went. And Josh, how, how big a challenge to, to start a game after just being here eight days and how in your mind you think it is? Yeah, you know, I think um, it's a unique situation um, and it's a wonderful opportunity um, that, I, that I really embraced and had a lot of fun with. Um, so there's obviously things that I know that I can do better and be better, especially situationally, um, looking back through the game. And we'll dive into that because I know we got a big one coming up. But, uh, you know, I thought through the preparation and the guys, just how we fought throughout the game. It was great to see. Um, I mean, shoot, we're throwing routes out there on the field that we haven't even thrown in practice with it being a short week. So just being able to make those plays, um, make critical plays throughout the game, will propel us into this upcoming week where we actually have a full week to prepare for the game. What was it like for you waiting six years for an opportunity to start a game and it finally gets to do it? Yeah, um, man, it was a long time. That's for sure. It definitely was a long time. Um, a lot of working out and you're like, dang, I don't even no, especially you're in Pittsburgh for so long and Ben's playing at a high level still. So you're like, dang, I don't know when I'm going to get a shot. So every week, though, I, I give everyone the analogy just like this. It's like, um, you know, you have an algebra test every Friday. Um, you know, you have to prepare for the test and you uh, prepare. You do all the homework on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You go through the process. You do the extra work. You go to um, after hours and everything. And then Friday comes and then you just don't take the test. And then you repeat process and you never know when you'll have to take the test. So, um, you know, I prepare every single week as if I'm going to start, whether um, I'm dressing, not dressing, starting, not starting. Um, as I said, you know, there's things I could definitely do better out there on the field, but um, I love how I fought personally. I love how the team fought. Took advantage of the opportunity. I'm excited for the next one. And, and finally getting the opportunity to start, did you have like those early anxious moments? And, and if so, what was it that you did to allow yourself to settle in? Because it seemed like that's what happened. Yeah, you know, I think um, for sure. When you haven't played a live snap of football since August, you know, and then now it's December. That's a long, that's a long time, especially when you're in a new team, new, new receivers, new timing, new offense. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're there. You know, you're, I'm human. They're going to be there. And, you know, in those moments, I just try to take a deep breath, stay present, stay in the moment, lock in on the game plan. And just the, the same thing I told the guys was just take it one play at a time. If you do that, you focus on that play, make it the best play possible, move on to the next one, then you won't get overwhelmed by the moment. So there's a lot of guys out there, not just me, making their first starts or first time back on the field in a long time. And just watching how the guys responded to adversity, responded with success, it was great to see. And it definitely was a building opportunity for us. I know you had a relation with Malik before you got here. What was he like through this process? Uh, you know, Helping you or supporting you or however that went? Definitely. He's been great. You know, just helping, especially a new quarterback, a guy that's been in there, being able to just talk about procedural things such as cadence, snap count, um, communication, um, code words to the guys, especially when we're going no huddle and up tempo. So he's been a, a great resource. So, so has uh, Kevin Hogan in the room as well. Uh, we have a really good room. The guys really gel. Well, and, it, and it's been good to rely on those guys as well as Pat and Todd, too, to help uh, with my preparation. Building opportunity, obviously a, a nice thing, but still a sixth loss in a row. Like, is there a feeling in the room that, that something's turning tide-wise and that in 10 days you can, can, can change the result? Well, we control our own destiny, and every, every single person in the locker room understands that. We go out, we play a good game, we play how we know how to play football, we don't hurt ourselves, we go out play good, clean football in Jacksonville next Sunday, whenever the game is, and we come out with a win, then we're in the playoffs, and we're, and we're rolling from there. So we control our own destiny, guys understand that. Um, obviously, every time you step on the field, you expect to win and you want to win. So it's tough uh, when that you don't get the job done, uh, so now we'll go through our process. We'll review the film, review the tape. We have a longer week for preparation for the Jacksonville game. And 
we control our own destiny. We go out there, we play the football we know we can, then we're in the playoffs and AFC Ch South champs. First start for you in a while, without having the opportunity to go back and look at the tape, what do you think the thing or maybe a couple of things you're going to be focused on this week? For sure. Uh, you know, situationally, as I look back throughout the game, you know, we, you know, I fumbled the ball, put the ball on the ground in the red zone when we have points. Uh, I mean, you just can't do that. You know, that's an opportunity where either get the ball out, um, take a good clean sack, kick the field goal, get points. Then it's an even tighter game, you know, going into the fourth quarter. Um, so little things like that, you know, I took a sack on, on a keeper in the, in the second quarter, throw the ball away. So there's little things situationally that I've already, I'm aware of that I know I can get better. Of course, that comes with, you know, reps and being out there um, and getting hit for the first time in a while. So um, I'm not too worried about those. I know I'll clean them up. Um, I'll be excited to dive into the tape with the coaches and continue to grow and improve as quickly as possible and give the team the best chance that we have to win. Sorry, Josh. How much might how much difference might it be having a Derrick Henry possibly available in that game in Jacksonville? No doubt. I mean, when he he's, he's our highest paid, best player on offense, so getting a chance to get to get him out there, um, healthy and playing the football he can will be tremendous for us. You know, I thought the young guys though today did a great job toting the rock, um, situationally, tempo. Um, getting the pile moving forward, they did a great job. And obviously having Derek back will be a great asset for the offense. How did you end up with the football after your first career touchdown? And, and did, uh, did Robert Woods know, know that? No chance he knew. There's no chance he knew. Um, everyone was obviously extremely excited. Um, so I just ran out. I was like, yo, can I keep this? This is my first one, please. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you got it. You're good. And then we just celebrated and went from there. So definitely have it. I'm going to give it to the fam so they can take it back home and uh, find a nice spot for it. You go from kind of waiting for an opportunity like this for so long to now getting the opportunity and now looking at potentially a biggest opportunity there is, right? Playing for a spot in the playoffs. How good was it to get one under your belt before that big one for all the Marbles? 100%. It was great to get out there. Obviously, you know, just get the jitters out, get the, hey, you're about to get actually hit sitting in the pocket. You know, it's a completely different than when you're at practice and they can't hit you, they run by, yell sack. You know, it's a whole different um, environment, especially then playing situational football from there. As I said, the stuff that I know I have to clean up. So it was good to get out there and get this opportunity um, because the next one's for all the marbles, man. It's like you grow up, you dream about playing playoff football in the NFL, you know, and to have that opportunity. Um, is one you never take for granted because just in my career, my six years, you know, I've been to the playoffs, uh, thankfully, three times. But the three years I haven't, the two years I haven't, I guess this is year six, um, you know, those are tough years. So you put in a lot of hard work throughout the season. So um, we go out there, we control our own destiny. Um, it's good to get these reps. Now let's make the most of the next opportunity. Josh, until tonight, did you ever feel like you had a chance to show what you can do in this league? Until you uh, no, I didn't. Honestly, I, I didn't. You know, just given my circumstances and the, and the lack of opportunity I've had, you know, it's definitely been tough because especially when you pour everything into it and you don't get the opportunity, it's always tough. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I was thinking about it earlier today. It's like your current position is not your destiny. You keep working hard. The opportunities will come. You never know when they will come, but you for sure better be ready when they do come. You expect to start next week? Um, I get, that's up to the coaches. You know, I think they're going to put – whoever gives us the best opportunity to win out there. And I respect their decision. Um, so we'll see when we regroup over the weekend and we'll go from there.